Well, the courtroom was packed, much of it with 19-year-old Lizzie Marriott's families and family and friends. Now, it was a long and emotional day filled with opening statements and testimony with graphic descriptions of what happened, but conflicting stories of what happened and who is responsible. Over police detective Sean Mask was the first and only witness called on the first day of testimony, speaking of cell phone records and reading a deleted text Seth Mazalia had allegedly sent his girlfriend Kat McDonough, telling her to find a friend he could have sex with who would die, something the jury heard in the state's opening statements. This was the exercise of power and control and a clear expression of intent to do very wrong in the very near future, voiced by a 30-year-old dominant to his much younger submissive, who he be be began to control and groom when she was only 17 years old. The state showing letters he wrote describing how she died, even including a drawing he made of a person being strangled. They say it all proves he killed 19-year-old Lizzie Marriott in his apartment in October 2012. He raped her, he murdered her, and she never consented. The defense, however, says Marriott didn't die of strangulation, but rather in the course of a sexual game of breath control, ultimately suffocated by Kat McDonough. Who they describe as a troubled woman who told people that she heard voices in her head. One of those personalities named Charlotte. And she describes Charlotte taking over her body when she does not want to, that she struggles for control, and she blasts out when she loses control. And that it was Kat who led the cover up, helping concoct alibis, then turned and blamed Mazzalio when she was offered a deal to testify by the state. The They're not going to be. Mason moment in this case where she comes in here and says, You got me, you're right, because she's got too much to lose. The jury paid very close attention, straining to see exhibits and pictures, a lot to take in in a very long day. Testimony resumes tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. In Dover, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.